morning troops i'm so sorry about the wind guys i tried to hide in the corner but it's just i'm we're still going to get winded so i'll be quick evidence do you see that evidence i don't know if this is a new brand of cigarettes right let's go in the shed because something happened right so this must be a new brand of cigarette butts cut a long story short um hold on why is that oh it's dark that's why oh i need a good clean up in here pal mail or something like that anyway last year my dad decided to finally get a ring doorbell and a couple of weeks later he was just looking on it to see if anything interesting happened during the night uh, because he's got, he did have a garden camera to catch the foxes and blah 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 and he thought what well, well see what's gone on if they'd been in the front garden at all because they kept nicking bonnie's toys the foxes did so we've had to hide everything bless them and uh they saw he saw someone hop over jill's fence next door and run over to one of the houses opposite now this person wasn't the usual looking burglar it was either white a white hoodie and white trousers or light color jeans or light gray so it's not exactly burglar material if you know what i mean so i think it's just a chancer but a couple of weeks ago so that was over and done with didn't think anything of that because this place is known for having lots of burglars because it's a rich area anyway a couple of weeks ago i was walking down this path just like this i'll do a reconstruction and me having eyes like an eagle yes <laughs> yeah i will brag about that i found a cigarette butt here now it wasn't windy it hadn't been windy for a few day, few days beforehand so i thought odd none of my cousins have been round and that some of them smoke so i thought well yep yeah, that's very very strange and uh, so i told my parents and then this morning my mum came out she said Sarah, I found a cigarette butt, but this time it's outside the conservatory. It was, I'll show you. Video evidence is always important. Buy these colourful flowers just down there. So I thought, right, this time I'm going to pick it up and keep it as evidence. I know it sounds OTT, but you can get DNA off that. Um, so if anything, hopefully it won't, but if anything does happen, then at least I can say, well, look, Mr. Policeman Officer, I saved this for you. Always, cut. what's that down there? And of course, with my work machinery and stuff there, you know, I don't know if they've been trying to uh, get in my offices or something. You just don't know, do you? But yeah, so I'm going to get them some cameras and I advise other people to do so as well. Get the ones view ones, but you may have to connect them up with an, uh, what's it called? Ethernet cable or something, Ethernet something anyway. And uh, because they are good, because they come with an app so you can watch live or send you alerts and blah, blah, blah. And they're really handy to have. And uh, yeah, evidence evidence of someone loitering around my parents garden while while my mum's asleep because my dad bless his heart i really do feel sorry for my dad my aunt died sunday night and first thing monday morning he had to go off to india for two weeks so he can't even mourn properly bless him do you like his little vegetable patch we did have an allotment near where i lived oh i loved it down there it's like my, like my little sanctuary but because of my neck and being busy with work i just didn't have time for it anymore my dad bless him because he's like in his 70s um he couldn't keep it all up on his own so he said give it up and we'll and we'll do something with the garden so he done all this bless his art oh i love my dad i think he's great but yeah strawberries strawberries will be coming out soon need to give it a bit of a tidy up and <laughs> I, what I do, I bought this, that pot at the end. I did have a cherry tree in there down the allotment, but it didn't really grow. It just grew up into a tree and 
got no cherries off it so um so that had to go in the bin so i use that for potatoes now so yeah it's amazing what you can do in a garden but one thing guys right if there's any people out there that has fish i need to know because i've just seen this poor little fish we'll call him bert i've just decided to name him bert he's got lumps all over him look hello bert can you see oh i don't like that bless his heart do you think that's tumors or do you think they're warts? Can't really do much for fish, can you? Poor little thing. That's really upset me, that has. But if there, if anyone out there does know how to deal with fish with lumps, then let me know in the comments. And I think my mum's got her own little herb thing going on here. Is that sage? Yep, that's sage by the looks of it. That's parsley dying, probably. Oh dear, it looks a bit untidy, doesn't it? Mother, you need to get out here. Gordon Bennett, what's this? Look, what's that? Gordon Bennett, looks like a bit of a jungle round here. Honestly, i going to have to get the gardener back. But anyway, guys, yeah, go and get some cameras. If you ever, I always advise then, even if you live with walls around your house, I always say get cameras. And want, like I said, one's view are good because they come with an app and, um, but if you live in an area like I do that's not very um, good with internet, you know where it keeps cutting out a uh, signal, that's it. Then you might have to just put it up with the Ethernet cable, but yeah, evidence. Well, I'll have to see what goes on. I think I'm going to have to put some extra security on my office doors. Because I can't have anyone nicking anything out of there because I need it. But anyway, guys, for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.